Zoltan, I'm here. Oh, wait. Oh, there's two paths. What the heck? We can't really see... Oh, that's kind of weird. I guess we'll try going into this one. No, this one needs a key. A lot of things need keys here, huh? Whoa, maybe we need the cat potion here. It's very, very dark. And the swallow potion, too. Symbol of hatred. That's right, we're here looking for the sword. Probably a good time to use the swallow potion anyway. Yeah, if we drink a cat potion, it's gonna make finding Zoltan pretty easy, in theory. <laughs> Were you sweating? Okay, time of day I'm guessing doesn't matter. We'll just make it quick. No red. Around me at all. Whoa! Spoke way too soon. Neckers are easy. The black and white makes it kind of hard to see anything though. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it makes everything very monotone. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff over there. Can I see a map of this place? Yes, we can. There's a thing over here. Probably the sword is over here, but where's Zoltan? Apparently he's just meeting me here. Okay. Keep going in one direction. Is that actually... Like, is it just actually nothing down there? Or is that just because of the cat potion? Whoa. A lot of you guys. How many more can there be? Can we just... Do we even need to loot this? Because we do have a limited amount of time on our swallow potion here, as well as the cat potion. I'm just gonna try to... go as fast as I can. That is a dead person! The Conclave of Mages. Oh! Elfon's Trophy. Vitality plus one, damage dealt to humans, plus one percent! Damage bonus on signs, plus one. Well, tempting, tempting, but I, I think I'm okay. Thank you, though. <laughs> it's a rare thing. Conclave of Mages. The Conclave was next to the Supreme Council of Sorcerers, one of the two main bodies ruling the magicians. The most powerful sorcerers of their times sat on it. One of its duties was regulating the standards and rules of using magic. The ban on necromancy was one of its edicts. <laughs> and then there's me, selling Death Mold, the book, about necromancy. Before the Thanid Rebellion, a large part of the Conclave conspired with Nilfgaard. During those events, most of its members died, the sole survivor being Francesca Findebear. After the coup, the Conclave was not reactivated, thus many mages do not respect the restrictions it has created. Well, probably because they had ties to Nilfgaard to begin with. Okay, so I guess it's okay that Death Mold is practicing necromancy now, huh? One of the two main bodies ruling magicians, so the Conclave, and I'm guessing the other one is the... the Sorceress's Lodge. This one's male. Sorcerers. Actually, no, because Francesca Findebear is female. Huh. Sure, sure. We also got a Strength Mutagen when I wasn't looking. I should probably put that on my other thing soon, too, right? I have one slot free. After we get out of here. Broom? I don't think we need that. Do we? What? Why did I pick up a broom? <laughs> Additional weapon. Useful for cleaning up after a brawl. <sighs> Seems like we've run into a dead end. Uh, this is not a door, right? I can't really tell with all the, the coloring here. Now we can pick it up. Because obviously that's going to sell for so much money, right? <laughs> Whoa. We're hearing noises already. Where is Zoltan? Zoltan is not a bad fighter, but I don't think he's like me. What the? Thank you. Thank you and goodbye. 
You can already see them here. Wow! Got a good bit in on me. Another door? This is a door, right? Um, just looking at the map. I think we should check behind us first because that was a dead end. There's certainly some really weird noises here. What the? Oh. Okay, turns out there's actually nothing here. It's just a dead end. Fine. Now we find out. No doors. What the heck are the moving rock sounds we keep hearing? It's freaking me out. It's actually freaking me out a lot that we can hear our heartbeat. Makes everything seem much more nerve-wracking. Another door? Also nothing else here? Or... No? Okay. Huh. Oh. I'll take that. Yeah. Zoltan is this deep inside by himself? Come on! I'm still pretty much slaughtering through these guys, like butter. Which is okay, I'm okay with that. More iron- No! It's the broom! It's the broom! Get out of here! What else? Well, iron ore itself is pretty heavy, too. It's actually the heaviest thing of what we've got so far. Shoot. Pickaxe? That's fine. Okay, don't pick anything else up, okay? If it's crap. Even if it's an iron ore, we gotta... We gotta let it go. Forget about the necker eyes. Forget it. Wait, warrior necker blood. Is that special? I'll have that. Okay, forget it, forget it. Zoltan? The sounds we keep hearing sounds like someone sliding rock puzzles around or something. At least it doesn't sound like a rock slide. That's a- that's probably a good thing. Okay, I don't like that sound either. Greater rock bean. The other trouble with the cat potion is that everything kind of just looks similar. As long as they're all humanoid, then I can't really tell the difference between them. But the the swallow potion is just about to expire anyway. Have we been down there? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Whoa, it's super dark. This is too dark. Is it supposed to be this dark? <laughs> I can use Igni to light the way, but no, it's actually dark to the point that I can't even see anything on my screen. Something here? Okay, I need another cat potion. I really can't see anything, and I don't think it's a brightness problem. Like, it's just supposed to be this dark because they want you to use a cat potion. Someone is fighting something. Is it a rod fiend? They do sound like that. Oh! Oh, okay. Whoa, I have no clue where we're going. I'm so lost. Zoltan? Bolvor. Again. Oh, we're still doing really well, even on hard. Is my sword that good? Hey, loot! Where's your loot? Here. Bolvor brain. Where the heck is Zoltan? How is he here all by himself? Okay. Oh, there we go. There you go. Uh, but now that we know he's here, maybe we want to look around a little bit first. 
I don't know. I can't even tell if this place is supposed to be, like, bright or not. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's where we're going. Which means this is where we came from. Oh no, that's where we came from, right? So, this is the other way. Are we actually in broad daylight right now, or what? Uh, whoa! Oh my god. We're fine. We're fine. But it's also a dead end here. That's fine. We've exhausted it. Okay. Okay, let's go see Zoltan then. I think we're ready. Oh no! I forgot about what I said 20 seconds ago already! Stop picking stuff up! Stop! Stop, what can I drop? Because it has a cool name, I kind of want to sell it, but it's only worth 26 orins. <laughs> ah! Okay, goodbye fate. Maybe it's fate that you're supposed to create space for me. Farewell. But yeah, how the heck did Zoltan get past the Bolivar by himself? Is he that good? I didn't think he was a bad fighter, but I didn't think he was that good. Yep, we're in the right place. I'm guessing that's sunlight, but I can't... Oh, whoa, that... Oh my god. Catacomb key. Catacomb. Secret passage in Dwarven Catacombs. Um... Okay. Okay. Secret passage. Wait, Dwarven Catacombs? Wasn't that the place with the banner? At least that's what I thought it was. And I saw Sultan already. I just want to see what's here first. Uh... Actually, this way seems like a long thing. Let's go see Zoltan first then. Hey, who's that? Yorveth? Zoltan, you were supposed to bring the sword. I failed, girl. Oh! That was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. Milady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenes, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. I don't think she'll appreciate this because it's like... It's like saying, hey, you're gonna lose, so why not just withdraw now? I would want to say it, but I think it's just futile. Yeah. Thank you, and good luck. See you, Zoltan, and don't get killed. Nor you, you old prick. See you again. Someday. <clears throat> Saska, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Yorveth. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Yorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. He lost it playing dice. What? Scalen now has the spearhead. The young Burden is a gambler, an addict, and perhaps Vergen's top sharp. You should speak to him. Yorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All won at dice. I won't need convincing. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. Oh, uh, we can stay underground. We'll look around. I thought we were gonna have to fight something here, but... Well, Zoltan got me the sword, so thank you. And they're gone. They just disappeared. Saskia, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more. Wow, all we had to do was come here. I'm a little bit disappointed in Yorveth, this new revelation about Yorveth. He would just put down a spearhead, an important spearhead, as gambling, gambling, uh, what do you call that? 
What do you call that? What's the word I'm looking for? Collateral, I guess. Isn't he supposed to be a great leader? Why is he making such decisions? <laughs> Actually, getting them to burn, getting all of these guys to burn, makes it so that it's good illumination. <laughs> I can't see anything otherwise, though. It's really, really dark. And I don't want to take another cat potion. Because my toxicity. My toxicity is probably pretty high right now, right? Actually, it's not. It's pretty low. That little bar under the wolf medallion, that's toxicity, right? I don't think we've actually had a situation where we've been toxic enough for anything bad to happen. No. Okay, well, can we go this way? Oh no, it was locked. That's right. Okay. Maybe if we were playing with Yorveth, then we could go there. Now we gotta find that gambler guy to get what we want. Well, I'm pretty good at dice gambling myself too, so I'm not too worried about that. Bye! I don't know why you were hiding instead of helping your friend. Yeah, this is not just the video being dark, but I actually can't see even while I'm playing. Whoa! Don't pick any more up. I'm gonna... It's gonna be too heavy soon. I probably should have taken that offer. <laughs> to bring us back to the surface, huh? Probably. Probably. Well, uh, time to get out of here. Let me just... Feel my way in the darkness, back home. Actually, I don't think we've been to this side yet. Maybe we want to look here. Whoa, jeez! It's right next to the door. Uh, can't see anything. But there is another door here. Which we unlocked. Is it with the key? The Dwarven Catacombs key? Dude, I seriously can't see. Necker's fighting rot fiends. Damn it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Is anything actually going on here? No, it doesn't seem so. Oh, oh, a chest. Oh, hello. Get out. Maybe there's some goodies here. Tamarian leather galagaskins. Resistance to bleeding plus 20%, armor plus 1. Uh, yeah? It's pretty similar to what I have right now, but anything for me to show my, my Temerian loyalty, right? <laughs> okay. What? Seriously? Fine, fine. Yeah, now we got the sword. We can't use it. No. Okay. We gotta drop something! It's too- Oh, I'm over by one- one unit. Whatever that unit is. I'll drop one iron ore, maybe? Can I drop one? One. We cool? No. No, we're not. Mmm, I'll drop one more? Of all the things to drop, right? Okay, we're leaving for real this time. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh! Uh, I've still been trying to get out of here this whole time. Looks like I found something else here. Another bowl of ore. Oh! Yes, we can. But other than that, there's a chest here. Blood sword. Blood sword. That's definitely too heavy for me. Silver sword. Oh! Hey, this one's actually really similar to mine. Damage wise, same. But this one's bleeding plus 50%. Oh, I should keep this because I can modify this three times. Well, getting lost here actually resulted in something good. Hey, that's that's not so bad. Okay. Mmm, what do I drop? Just drop some twine or whatever. I don't... It's way too much of this crap. I need space. Space. Leather, drop, drop it. It's the iron ore, okay? The iron ore is way too much. Gotta drop six, maybe? No, probably one more. 
Or maybe the harpy claws? Let's drop a few of those. There we go. Okay, we gotta get out of here though. I'm still stuck here. I can't find a way out. Oh, I think we finally made it out here. Just in time for the cat potion to run out. Oh my god, I just... I had to check the map like every four seconds because I kept getting lost and confused. And the biggest problem on the map is that there's all these like dotted lines that really confuse me. Like what? Does that mean that we can actually go across like for example here or not? <laughs> but anyway, I think we're finally out now. Oh, that was... I probably should have just taken them up on the offer of teleporting me out here. Circle of strength. Well, won't say no to that. Robust cloth, it's probably good. But at the same time, because we were looking around that much, I found that blood sword, which has the potential to be better than what I have right now. So that's, that's good, that's good. My efforts were not in vain. But I'm really glad to be outside again. So the dwarven catacombs key that we found, can we open this? No. I think it's the other door that we unlocked inside there. I think so, but not too sure. Well, I don't think we need to go back to the harpy guy again. Uh, was there something here? That's the harpy guy, right? But what's this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Fair. Still not too sure who this is, but some important god. Okay, are we gonna go head back to Vergen then? I think so. We have the sword now. Yeah, this is finding everything. We... Yeah, this is finding everything again. What? It's the same thing. What the heck? We have to find the spear by playing Scal and Burden. And this guy is... In... Vergen somewhere? Oh, the Vergen Guard. Okay. Conspiracy theory. Wait. Wait. Dunno. Lift the curse medallion. Kill the wraith or deceive it. <sighs> that one. I'm really hoping that someone can tell me what the freaking... Like, does anyone want to talk about the Battle of Brenna again? <laughs> oh, man. Maybe we'll just have to guess it and if... If the Wraith dies. Shouldn't feel too bad about it because that guy's already dead to begin with. It's fine. It's fine that he dies. <laughs> Which one of the guards am I looking for here? The one guarding the... Um, the inner city place? There was, um... Might be that guy. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here too that I'm not sure what to make of, but, uh... We'll probably figure it out in due time. Is it one of you guys? Shove off! Nice ponytail. This guy? I heard you have the head of Yorvith's spear. I do indeed. I could use that spearhead. Not a chance in hell. It's my trophy. Wanted off the greatest killer among elves. But in certain circles, that makes me a hero. What were you playing? Dice poker. I've rolled a few dice in my time. Do I hear a challenge? Mm -hmm. I trust you'll not ask me for a handicap. Though I must warn you, I aim to be merciless. Curse or no curse. Let's begin. We're only playing if you're gonna give me the spearhead as a bet, okay? We're not playing for fun here, just so you remember. Wow, I got like nothing. One pair. One pair, what do you have? You have one pair that's bigger than mine! Great! Great! Wonderful! Fine. Hey, well I got... No, I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, I have three of a kind, but I still... Oh, he has three of a kind too. That's frustrating. You lost Witcher. Like that fellow, uh... What was his name? Blaskowitz. Who was he? Another who sought a magic spear of fate or destiny. Old story doesn't much matter anymore. In any case, if you care to drop a few more orins in my pouch, I'll be more than glad to play you. Fine. Fine. I will. So 
not the money that matters. I only gave you 22 orins at the end of the day. Not too big of a deal. Oh, we have three of a kind already. Hey, that's a pretty good start. That actually is a really good start. Four of a kind. Yes! Wow, he gave up. What a quitter. You play like a true sharp. Almost like a cheat. But, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Galen. I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. Oh. I could find something. Do we want to try that? We could. We could. I'm waiting for the, um, the quest pop-up. Okay. It's completed. We got the spear. That's it. Let's see what else I can charm off of you. Be my guest. Okay. Ooh, I got a pair. He's got three of a kind, but I'm not one to back down. Come on. Believe in the, the heart of the dice. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I want to see what you have, though. Ha! I win! Yeah, yeah, keep gloating. I do want to see what I can get off of you. Although it's probably crap. I'm guessing it's crap. But you never know. Uh, I have one pair. One pair. <laughs> ones. They're ones, though. This is good. not good. Not looking good. Two pairs. Hey! Damn it! You win! Scalen, my prize. The sword of the warrior princess Xanthia. Ooh! Good enough. I'd say so. It's yours. If you'd like to roll again, I'm always willing. Do you have more trinkets? I want to see what that is. It sounds cool, but how good is it? Turns out it's pretty good. But it only has one upgrade slot. So no matter... There's no way I can find an enchantment that's that good that I can beat what I have right now. Yeah. Pretty good, though. Not a bad thing at all. Princess Cynthia. Wonder who that is. Oh well, let's go sell it off right now. <laughs> Come on, Geralt. I know you can make it over there. Just slowly. Slowly. <laughs> it's kinda... How rude is this? I'm just selling the sword right off the bat. Bye. <laughs> well, we can always buy it back if we really want it. Any junk we got? Plenty of junk. Really need to get some of that weight out of here. This armor. Quite heavy. 21. We should look into enchanting soon. But we can only do that if we find an inn, which is not over here. So we'll have to do that when we go back over to the Kedweni camps. Okay, wanna sell some harpy claws? Not gonna use them. Blood sword we wanna keep. Yes. Leather? I think we have plenty of leather in the storage in anyway. Same with cloth. Yeah, just get a little bit... Get out of here, all right? Even the leather trousers, whatever. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You said trinkets, right? Like multiple trinkets? Let's see what else I can charm off of you. Be my guest. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. Two pairs. Oh, but he has three of a kind. So, in order for me to beat him, he has three of a kind of twos right now. Which means... Oh, Normally, I would roll like... Oh, which one would I want to roll, though? Hmm. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to select the... <laughs> Pass. Pass. Dang it, I forgot to freaking ha, select win. which dice to roll. Amateur mistake. But we got a better roll here, right? Two pairs again. Yeah, not looking bad, actually. Oh, shoot. I made the same mistake again. I thought this was... Actually, we have three of a kind. We might still win. Make him resign. Yeah. Damn it! You win! 
What's my prize this time? The wool coat of a corporal of the Dunbarner. One of a kind, and truly sought after by collectors and aficionados of military mementos. Where did you get these things? I played dice and won them. Now I played and lost, but that's it. I'll play you no more. Don't get mad. I'm not. I'm just not fucking playing you no more. <laughs> you sound pretty angry to me. Done batter cloak. Wait. Quest item? Oh, interesting. Can I wear it and look cool? No? Okay. Well, if that's it for this town. Because we can't actually get into the... Oh, that, that really looks like a comet. We can't really get into the areas where things are happening. Then maybe we just gotta go back to the Dun Banner place now. I think so. Okay, well... <laughs> uh, we haven't actually learned anything new since we last talked to that Wraith, but I'll, I'll just have to rely on luck. Okay. We are relying on luck today, which actually might not be a bad thing because as I was walking here, I remembered there was that one time in The Witcher 1 when the alchemist in... What was the city in The Witcher 1? The capital of Temeria? Anyway, that alchemist was asking me about, like, atomic formulas and whatever, and I managed to get six questions in a row right, so if Lady Luck is on my side today, maybe something similar will happen, depending on how many questions he has, I don't know. Before we do that, we'll just check out these corpses really quickly. We'll uncover all of them so the wraiths all come out. Oh! Oh! Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Hey, this guy's pretty strong. Which is not a good thing for me. Let's make that clear. <laughs> I haven't actually searched anybody, but seems like there's not too much here anyway. No. Get a close up on this guy. You got a nice set of teeth, pearly whites. Amethyst dust. Fine. This guy. Nobody here had anything important. The one thing that we got that was good here was the the wild hunt notes, but other than that... Okay, okay, okay. No saving. We're just gonna go. I see you return. I, I see yes. that too. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? There are so many things that can go wrong with that sentence. I mentioned earlier I know about Natalis, but I don't know who led the Redanians, but then the left and the right and the straight and the head on and... <laughs> I like how it really only boils down to like two choices here, but there's so many different options. <sighs> you got it wrong. You're wrong. It w they were on the left side, yeah. You're mistaken. Oh! The Redanian regiments were on the <laughs> left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? I'm so glad they didn't make me say it. Like, I just had to say that it's wrong, but then Geralt fills in the gaps. Oh, I know this one, I know this one. Menno Kohorn. Zivik said this. Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. The repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Um, I think he's dead, right? That's what Zivik said. What happens if you say I don't know? Isn't that the same as getting it wrong? Your memory has suffered after death. Cohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. Yeah. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. 
It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You were right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. Who commanded? Who commanded? Uh, no, well, Henselt is the king. Demavend is the dead king. Deathmold and Demavend is wrong for sure because Deathmold is just a mage. Vandergrift and Seltkirk. Yeah, the armor of Seltkirk and the visitor, Vandergrift. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Yes! Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet, but I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Uh-uh. Uh... uh... <laughs> Wait, he's asking about me specifically though, so there's no way that even if I leave now, I'll know the answer. Well, it's not this one. It's one of these ones. Seltkirk spared my life? Or I was led up by a priest? Saltkirk? Saltkirk died. Yeah, Zivik said that Saltkirk died because the visitor. Wait. No, 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 no. But then. That's what he said, right? I remember this part. Something about how. Saltkirk was. The visitor killed Saltkirk and then. Sabrina Glefisig did the whole stormy thing. So I don't think it's Selkirk, just because he's dead. But that's not true, because Selkirk could have spared me before he died. Ah! But that sounds so vague. I was let up by a priest? I don't know. Selkirk spared me. You wear the wool coat of the Dun Banner. If not for that, you would be a dead man. Try once more. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe what? that the kings commanded the armies during the battle, or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. Oh! I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Oh, he's giving me a chance again! Wait, why? Because I had that coat? The coat that I just got from... Uh, dice... dice poker? Reverend Crest led us out of the fire. He had a magic medallion that protected us from the flames. Many survived? Zivik's platoon. Zivik. The regiment's best corporal. You have proven that you served <laughs> in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henselt's army from advancing. The unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your mind? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly, even as they cut me down. We did it! I can't believe it. Oh, but we were protected by... This Dun Banner cloak? Is that it? Oh... I can't believe it! We did it! Well, we weren't as lucky today, because we did get one question wrong, but thankfully, it, it didn't mean anything, because we did it! We did it! In the grand scheme of things, though, it's like, okay, so what? You didn't kill the Wraith, good job! <laughs> I don't think it's actually gonna come back as a consequence again. But we'll know in our hearts that we did something good. Uh, Zivik said that we wanted to put the... or he wanted... the... the beaver cap to be put here, right? Yeah, Sword of the Dun Banner. There we go. This one is pretty good, but not that good. Now we got the standard. Looks like a party thing. Party hat? 
You have acquired all the items. Give the spearhead to Hensult. But I'll leave the cap here. Well, I guess our business in the... in this whole place here is done. We don't need that. We're just getting out now. Whoa! Damn monsters. I already got the banner! The standard! Why are you spawning out of nothing? So earlier, when we were in the tunnels, I did get a key called Dwarven Catacombs, but I don't see another... Like, I don't think I ran into a locked door here before, if I remember right. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure the name of this place is called Dwarven Catacombs. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Like, if I, if I walk out of here... Oh, why won't the name of the place pop up? If I come in here? Hmm. Usually the name of the place pops up on the bottom left corner. And I thought this place was named Dorvan Catacombs. But whatever, I guess. Whatever. So now we have... All the items. Except for the medallion. Do we just go back across then? But then, we're leaving Zoltan here because he doesn't want to be with the Kedwenis. Hmm, I thought this was gonna be a much bigger portion, but it seems like we're done here. Okay, well, I guess there's not much else to do in Bergen, and we're gonna head straight back to the Kedweni camp. I'm out of here, guys. Skoetzel. Goodbye, farewell. I think we just have to cross the mist again, which shouldn't be a problem. But, if I cross back by myself, and Zoltan doesn't come with me? Doesn't that mean he's stuck there forever? Until the mist is gone at the minimum? Come on. Damn, that still works. Goddamn better work! Follow it! Oh! We know the way though. I don't think we need the amulet. We just walk straight, pretty much. Hey, that guy has a quen or something. That guy has a magical thing. Ignore. Ignore them all. Yeah, there we go. And we're out. Anything change? Anything happen? Oh, whoa, what? Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Oh no! Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the black dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger, knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. Wait. It is possible. Artifact compression. Yeah. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The black ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! Where is Triss Marigold? Find Triss in the Nilfgaardian camp. What? But that Shelard guy was being all like, Oh, we're friendly, we're just hanging around here, but now they attack us? Seriously? Really okay, strange. let me just access my inn for a second. A few years back. Now we make camp with the black yes. This one, we'll just keep it for fun. This one, we should upgrade. Just put everything in here. I honestly, like the whole alchemical component of this entire game, I've been ignoring it. But the bad thing 
I guess it's a good thing? I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing. Is that it's okay for me to be ignoring it so far? Probably because I'm not playing on the highest difficulty. That's what I'm guessing anyway. We should put a fire rune on that blood sword home. Huh? Can we do it right now? Enhancing the sword? Bleeding plus 50. So the one I have right now is two fire runes. It does give me less damage bonus for signs and no resistance to incineration. Well, that's probably fine. You win some, you lose some. You can't get a complete upgrade for free. If I'm looking for a fire rune, would that be here? Where would that be? Alchemy? I guess it's not alchemy. No. Crafting. Crafting. No? Oh. That's a moon rune, but where is the fire rune? Do I not have any more? No, I'm pretty sure I just saw one right in the... There we go. This one has three slots too. Can I increase the damage a little bit more? I want to filter this down to even more, like, just runes. Moon rune. Damage bonus on signs. Not really what I'm looking for here. Earth rune. Vitality plus 25. We have a lot of vitality right now. Not the biggest thing we need. Okay, I'm going to keep this sword around here until we find more fire runes. Because I think that's the one thing that will make the sword better than what I have right now. Actually, no, the damage is already better than what I have. Yeah, this had two slots, this has three. Can I buy some runes from the mysterious merchant here? Or it will turn out like the this guy doesn't talk ever. We have one of these back in Flotsam too, didn't we? Crafting. Oh, this is my inventory. What am I doing? <laughs> I should be looking into yours. Fire rune. That's always good. It's quite expensive too. Anything else better? Ooh, damage plus 7%. Percentages. What's better? Oh, no, no, no. These were always percentages. What am I saying? Hey, this one's way better. Oh, I shouldn't have put the freaking fire one on it. Because that one... <sighs> Dang it. That's fine. That's fine. We will put this one on. Yiskith rune. Bleeding plus 8%. Matches the blood sword too. Okay. Do that. Do that. Look at that. 38 to 43. Meanwhile, our old one is 32 to 36. That's awesome. Could have been even better if I had discovered the Yigsif rune. But at the same time, right now, I'm still cutting through everything like butter, even though we're on hard, so maybe that's not such a bad thing anyway. We'll put that in there just in case, and I think we're doing okay on the weight. Oh, if we're upgrading, do we want to upgrade the armor here? I'll leave that alone for next time, but I'll carry it on me so I remember. Put that in here. Yeah, put that in here. Twine. Sure, I think we're good. Okay. The whole thing about Triss being compressed to a statue, statuette, that's actually something that happened in the books before. Not Triss, but um... In the books, I forgot which one specifically, but there was a huge battle, and then after that, Yennefer disappeared for some time, and it turns out that it was because somebody had compressed her into a statue and was carrying her around like a necklace, so that's why nobody could find Yennefer. Apparently that's a pretty intensive spell though. Doesn't feel good for the person being compressed, as you would imagine. So if that's what happened to Triss, then that's not so good. Yeah, no trace of Triss in Vergen. But when we came back, <laughs> fate smiled upon our hero. Don't know if I would say that with the people dying and all. A miniature figurine bearing an uncanny resemblance to Triss Marigold in the Black Ones' hands. Okay, wait. Letho kidnapped Triss, but the Nilfgaardians have Triss now? So Letho is working with the Nilfgaardians then. Okay, not the biggest surprise, I guess. Just like Salamandra and the Nilfgaardians, blah blah blah. Artifact Compression, a spell allowing a polymorph. 
Oh, allowing to polymorph a living being into an inanimate object. Item. Okay. Let's go. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> Even the guy rolling the log out here is gone. Hey. Hey. Everyone's lining up. Do I have to worry? <laughs> nope. Everything seems okay. Within here. Anything new? I'm a bit scared of going against you guys are new, aren't you? The enemy have fed no. you their propaganda. No. Bah. But what if she's truly sure. a bear? I can't. Ah, don't worry about it. The witcher will That's take a blue stripes. Do the Nilf Guardians have their own camp here? Ah! That portion that we couldn't. Oh! This is where we were before! When we went through the cave where we found Odrin? We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the North Guardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there. I promise. Why can't we sail? We're not part of the Kedwenis. They can't stop us. Jeez. The Nilf Guardians had their own little section here. I didn't even realize this was a place. I am your humble servant. Go away. Are you Nilf Guardian? Hmm? Ambassador Shilard Fitz Esterlin's first letter to the Emperor. To His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of Nilfgaard, Emir Var Emres, private and confidential. Your Imperial Majesty, I hasten to report that the sorcerer, Van Himar, Van Himar has indeed proven right for the role assigned to him. He keeps his apprentice, Cynthia, on a short leash and displays nothing approaching excessive ambition. I believe him to be of unquestionable loyalty, and his abilities are more than adequate to serve your Imperial Majesty's objectives. The summit will be the final test. We will see how he behaves there, and if he proves more capable of resisting temptation than his female colleagues did. Please convey my kindest regards to your consort, your Imperial Majesty's ever-faithful servant, Shilard Fitz. Esterlin. It's pretty vague overall, probably because they're afraid of people eavesdropping. Can't blame him. No. Um, they left the letter here <laughs> for me to find. Temerian stuff. You're not Temerian. Why would you have this? Get out of here. Song of the Hunt. Song of the Hunt. Poem about the wild hunt. Tracing an ever wider spiral, the hunt circles the world of mortals. Everything decays in the centrifugal, centrifugal vortex. Pure anarchy rages over the world. The winds of war swell on blood, flooding the rites of ancient innocence. The best lose all hope, and the worst revel in fervent and fitful power. Looking glass images without heart or mind, haunt the worlds in the name of those who have preserved blood from blood and feed on unrestrained lust. The hunt circles the world of mortals. Yeah, the hunt seems to be like a higher order of beings. Not really elves or dwarves. Actually, weren't they related to elves? But not really elves or dwarves or humans. They're just a thing. Hmm. 
Why can't we break this? <laughs> Maybe we can break it once we get permission to set sail. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta hurry that up then. Circle of life. Yeah, this is where we were last time. 